Hello, my pretties. How are you guys? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Pretty Aura. Welcome. Let's see what Pretty Gang has to say about my website, theprettyoracle.com, and the products that I offer. So Jessica B says, yes, her Warfare candles are amazing, and I can't wait to order the cord cutting and Pretty Oracle bath. Shrilly says, order. Everything in that shop is amazing. Amy says, her bundles are great. Shirley says, yes, I'm always buying the cord cutting bath. Love it. These are things that you can find on theprettyoracle.com. Okay? I promised you guys I will be sharing more of my testimonials. So I'll be doing that at the beginning of um, every read that I can remember, okay? Listen, you got somebody here that's very upset. I want you guys to be mindful, okay, that the more you cut people off, the more enemies that, that you make. If cutting a person off, and I want you guys to entertain this thought, if cutting a person off makes them upset, okay, um, to the point where they're doing something, what we see here, spreading lies about you, um, You have to wonder what that person's... No, you don't have to wonder. You already know what that person's intentions were in the beginning. You'll see a lot of situations here where people are using, like at the bottom of the deck, it says appreciation, the spotlight, giving flowers. Like somebody who was, you know, um, all up your ass, so to speak. Praising you is what it feels like. You know, a lot of compliments and, 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 and things of that nature. But all of a sudden, you know, they're big mad because you don't talk to them anymore or because you cut them off, okay? Um, that's why I had told you guys before, I mentioned to y'all, sometimes you got to be creative about the way you give people their walking papers because you create enemies just by... Uh, setting boundaries okay it says unhealthy boundaries here so this person is mad because they were all in your space like I, it does feel like a smothering energy and it does feel like somebody that feels like they're entitled to your energy okay again that's why you got to be creative about the way you give people their walking papers because you have somebody here that want to spread lies about you because you put them on time out if anybody doesn't understand that you are in a season of me time, they wasn't supposed to be around you anyway. People who do stuff like this are people that are dependent upon your energy. Think about if someone cut you off for whatever reason, you know what I mean? Whether it was your fault, wasn't your fault, whether they just wanted to, some them time. I am so self-sufficient that it doesn't matter to me who don't want to talk to me no more. It's like, girl, do you, boy, do you, for whatever reasons, for whatever reasons. I know, you know, that I step in every situation genuine. And so whether you pegged me wrong or whether you got something going on with yourself or whatever the case is, it doesn't matter to me. OK, then that's because when you come into something genuine and you're self-sufficient, you don't care who don't F with you no more. This person was not self-sufficient, they weren't genuine, and they were investing in you by giving you compliments or tooting your horn, okay? In order to get into your energy, in order to cock block something else, or in order to uh, manifest off of your energy, or in order to ride your coattails. So when you uh, got up from the table, you took the table with you. That's why they mad. <laughs> Word. That's why they're mad. When you got up from the table, you took the table with you. So now they're going to lie on you. Show me spreading lies. <sighs> Somebody is going around like telling stories and with the wearily defensive. Uh, somebody could be. Uh, hold on a second. This could be somebody you were dating with the King of Wands. It doesn't have to be, though. This could be a friend or anything.
This could be an Aries energy. Somebody is basically lying about, like you could be defensive toward this person, right? And it's like they're hiding clarity, okay? And why they are extending romantic invitations or why they're extending love towards you. They're involved in some sort of spirituality, okay? As it, as it pertains to you. And, and with the energy of change and happy ending, this is somebody who wants to change your destiny. This is, the, this is somebody who's working with other destiny thieves or an organization or whatever. We have the emperor at the bottom of the deck here, okay? So there's, there's something here about this person. They're upset, and this is why. Somebody had just, I'm, I'm hearing like somebody had just signed on to do you something. They just signed on. And it's like, I feel the energy of you let them in, but then you cut them out, especially with the unhealthy boundaries. It's like you might have let this person in, but you cut them out. It may have been abruptly or whatever the case is, because this says cut off no warning. It, this is a ghosting energy. And so you know how, how it feel. They probably had just signed on, you know what I'm saying, to do you something. Just ink, ink still wet on the contract, you know what I'm saying? And they thought they had their foot in the door and you said, ah. Thought you had a friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this person feel like you effed up their money. Yeah. Who are you to cut me off? Let me in. Let me in and let me do you something. Who do you think you are? Yeah. Show me development of information and contracts. Relationship change. Yeah. Like I said. Whatever you did, you messed up their investment. Okay, they were getting closer and closer and closer to you. Basic, subpar, simple, unimpressed. You figured it out. You felt like this up uh, the, their approach was corny. This person has is having financial troubles. If you see this deficit and faking it, this person they're they're spiritually broke and they physically broke too. And and their promises, their word isn't worth nothing. Is what I'm hearing. Their word isn't worth nothing. Their word ain't bomb. Put it like that. Somebody could be from New York. I'm hearing word is bond. Somebody word ain't bond. They're coming against a chosen one. Okay. That's the problem. This is about coming against a chosen one. And changing their destiny. This person wanted to snuggle up next to you. And I feel like this person could have been planning to do you something at a gathering. I keep getting that. But when they were setting this up or whatever the case is, it didn't go right. It didn't go right. I feel like this person came into your energy and they may have sat down. And as soon as they got comfortable, you, you pulled the chair from up under them. Like, excuse me. You can't, you can't sit with me. You can't sit with me. Because I see where you're going with this. Like, I feel like if you would have, uh, like, if you would have just never dealt with this person from the beginning, you know, it would, the, the blow would have been, um, easier, but it's like, I done sat here, got comfortable, thought we was friends or thought we was lovers or thought I was getting ready to sink my teeth into you. And then as soon as I get ready, you, 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 you get, you know what I'm saying? What the hell? <laughs> you, you snatch my, you snatch my plate. Yeah, I, I gave it to you. That's why it's my food. You, you, you sitting here finna eat. You know what I mean? And somebody's upset, okay? So we have third wheel, other people can't. Other, th this, is, this is involving the people, them. These is, these is the, the minions. Look, what I said with the squad at the bottom of the deck. These are the minions. So somebody they sent in, you know. <laughs> See, you may be en enlightening others and going against the grain. You are one of a kind. Sister, you've been on my mind. Sister. You're one of a kind, sister. Yo, you know who they, um, pff, I'm keeping my eye on you. I bet you think I don't know nothing. Somebody is targeting you. We already know this, y'all. We already know this. We know what's up. 
This is why you be a targeted because you're a chosen one, okay? You're you could be enlightening others. You could be going against inst, uh, going against the grain. Okay, so they're telling me 11 from um Stranger Things. 11 from Stranger Things. You know how the people were chasing 11 throughout? I mean, come on. They, they, they always chasing 11. They want to get her back into a, a closed space where they can um, work on her mind some more. Where they can run some more tests on her. Where they can use her to benefit, you know, whatever crooked organization or agenda they have going on. They don't want her out here, you know what I'm saying, roaming free. I heard starting a revolution. Like, they feel like you're going to lead some revolution. But you know what this is all, all boils down to? This all boils down to Stephen wanting to keep control, like I said, over the over over the earthly realm. This is what he want. And it's like he can't have you out here enlightening others and going against the grain and, and, and having these spiritual gifts. He wants to throw distractions in your way. He wants to, you know, have you um, keep you very normal and ordinary. Okay, by way of giving you things or putting things in your way that doesn't feed your spirit so that you're not ascending. Keep you at the ground level. You understand what I'm saying? First flow your ass. <laughs> That's what he want to do. He don't want you to go up to the penthouse. The more chosen ones move up to the penthouse, the more we are in control and the more um, we're spreading knowledge, the, the harder it makes for Stephen, him downstairs, to keep reign over this realm that he, he want to keep reign. He just, you know, you fucking up his money. And so he's sending in a bunch of people and, 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 and even the more you ascend, the more you start to look at these people like, is this, is this, this what you like, this what you said to me? You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. Uh, y'all, I keep telling y'all to play stupid, okay? I keep telling y'all to play stupid. The more you play stupid, the more you keep them busy. You hear me? The more you play dumb, the more you keep them busy with, with, with thinking that um, they doing something. And the more they work on, you know, one project, because they think you dumb, you, you got more time to stay ahead of them, you know? Okay. Let me my eyes. So this person is lying to you. Yeah, they're lying to you about their purpose. Lying to you about the purpose that they have in your life. Yeah, third wheel. Somebody is somebody in the background, y'all. And I and I keep telling y'all a lot of times these these men. Uh, well, it don't have to be men. These lovers that come in, they are that tender swindler energy, but but by way of spirituality, okay. A lot of them be in relationships already, and they are courting people on some just business type stuff, okay? Because they sell ass for the devil, or they work for him downstairs, or whatever the case is, and it's just like. You know, their job is to date people and create relationships and then hit you with a sexually, uh, uh, I mean, a spiritually transmitted disease or put something in your drink or smoke or line you up real nice. Okay, set you up real nice. These is people that got emotional issues, financial issues, and they feel like they down on their luck in the only way. Because I, yo, I just, somebody just said to me. There's a person here that do this because they can't read. And then my mom, and then, and then, and then my question is, so who, who helped you sign the contract with Steven? I, what they had in the layman's terms? I mean, I guess so. Somebody can't read, so they can't make no bread out here in the real world. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. They're lying about their alliances. They into some, they into Stevenism. They into Stevenism. This person gets readings, okay? They know what to say to you. They know how to get into your mind, okay? And they, and they feel like they're doing this behind your back. Th their job was to steal wealth from you by way of your womb or by way of um, taking your destiny, stealing your destiny, helping an organization steal your destiny or whatever the case is. Whatever uh, role they played in this collaboration, okay? Whatever role they played in it.
Show me Big Mac. Show me Big Mac. Show me Big Mac. This person is upset. Like, like I feel like they have been trying to cause like um. Yeah, this person has been trying to soul tie themselves to you or some shit like that, or trying to reach you in your dream state or something like that. But you, but you're, but you're staying to yourself. You're not. You're not. Like you could know what this person is up to. They could be showing up in your dreams or sending you at her in your window. You, you. you you could walk into supermarkets and hear, like any place, you know, places of business establishments or wake up and hear certain type of music playing that reminds you it could have been, oh, that's our song or whatever the case is. This person is mad. Why are you not responding to my telepathic messages? And anytime somebody is using that type of magic, I keep telling y'all that magic that intercepts, that, that into your mind in a way you think they working with the people that. There's regular spells and then there's the people them, okay? This person is working with the people them. Go get my contract revocation candle and the invisible candle um, under my spiritual warfare candles on the pretty oracle.com, okay? It'll come with directions and everything like that. But yeah, you're making it a challenge for them, okay? You're making it a challenge for them. Somebody doesn't understand how you got over this hurdle because they feel like they had you. This person re really feel like they had you. It's been a challenge to reconcile with you. Okay? I feel like you're holding this person to, uh, to their, to a certain standard now. I feel like you may have listened to the lies or you may have let them slither around. But now it's like you got questions you asking them or it's like now you putting them through the ringer, you know, like, oh, all right. So, you know how when calling someone's bluff is what this feels like calling someone's bluff. Like, I feel like this person thought they could they, they just had their teeth get ready to sink into you and it's, sink it into you. And it's like, damn, like. All of a sudden, OK, we have. Fate and homeless. Poor. Did this person, somebody can't read. Somebody got rosy cheeks or something like that. This is their fate. They're not going to, they're mad now. This is why they upset because they're going to remain destitute. And this has to do with their karma. Okay. It does. It has to do with their karma. And we have using children as a pawn. I don't know what that is. That could be a baby daddy or something like that. Poison. This person was trying to get you with this energy of unhealthy boundaries. This person was trying to get you in this energy right here. This was their job. And they was doing it slowly. They were invested in it. And they were slowly making strides towards doing it. And they really thought they had a friend. <laughs> they really did. They really thought they had a friend. They thought they was really close. Avoided communication. You don't talk to this person no more. You could have met this person on the data site or chat room or whatever the case is. But I feel like this is one of those scouts. You know what I, what, what, what I told you? Like, you're not the only person that this person is doing this to. Kiss of death. What did I say? They want to get you in a compromising position so they can... Uh, I'm hearing Georgie, Porgy, put and pop. He kissed the girls and make them cry. Kiss the girls, make them sick. Okay? This person might go to jail. And that might be there. I mean, you at least you're getting a room and board and, and, and three square meals. You know what I'm saying? Because it looked like this person was doing bad. So at least they getting room and board at this point. I mean, that's what they wanted, right? That's what they did it for. Oh, they're going to get it. You're going to eat and you're going to have a place to live. And since you want to do weird shit, you'll have a bunch of people to do weird shit with. They'll be in the right space. Holes in this house. Yeah, this is somebody who works. Look, look, look what I said. In debt. This person is in debt. In debt. With some oath that they took. Okay, so that's why they're upset. Um, and this person was to sit down, was to lay down with you and pass on a spiritually transmitted 
demon that was supposed to infiltrate your life in so many different ways, okay? In so many different ways. Could have been, inter you know, could have, this is the type of thing I told y'all before, like a succubus, incubus spirit, something like that. And you, and you uh, wake up with a, with a taste for crack. <laughs> I want to smoke crack today. And you don't know why. You know, or you just want to hump, 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 and 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 that type of sexual appetite veers you off your path of your destiny and your life purpose, and essentially ruins you and who you was meant to be. Okay, stuff like that. Oh, I got a taste for gambling. You know, picking up certain addictions just by laying with somebody. Okay, because introducing, because doing that act introduces. The legion of legions of demons on you. All right. Um. So yeah, this person is very upset. I hope that helped. 